I'm kind of freaking out. Is this the best new beauty brand? and welcome to today's video where we are testing out a brand new beauty brand. Jason Wu Beauty just launched an entire collection and they just dropped at Target. So once I saw that, I was like, I need all of this and I need to test it out for you all. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Esty. On my channel, we discuss all things in the beauty world and sometimes some other things. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe down below. It means everything to a small creator like myself. And without further ado, let's get right into Jason Wu Beauty. Before we get into the demo and my first impressions and my thoughts, I do want to talk a little bit about the brand, about the packaging, about the pricing. I will have everything timestamped below down in the description box if you want to move ahead to the demo. So I think that the coolest thing about Jason Wu Beauty is that they launched at Target. I won't lie, when I saw that Jason Wu Beauty was coming out, I thought it was cool, but I was like, eh, it's probably going to be one of those like really expensive brands where everything is going to be, you know, in the $30 to $60 range. That is just what I assume since Jason Wu is a high end brand. Then when they launched at Target and I saw all their pricing, I was like, wow, this is really awesome. So let me tell you a little bit about the brand. And this is straight from their website. So they are cruelty free. It says Jason Wu Beauty loves animals. And we are happy to say that all of our products are cruelty free, which is awesome. They are a clean beauty brand. And then they put into their website what they do not include in their formulations. And then they also have a social cause behind them. So it says Jason Wu Beauty will be donating 1% of its net sales to gay men's health crisis, a cause very important to Jason Wu, which I think is just awesome. Although they did launch at Target and they were technically a drugstore brand, I would say that they are a higher end drugstore brand, if you will, just because the pricing is a little bit higher. So everything is under $20, but I believe everything is above 10. The most expensive items I picked up were the primer, the setting powder, and the setting spray. All three of these items are $17.99, and the least expensive item I picked up is the lip liner, which is $9.99. You definitely see that price difference when it comes to packaging. Their packaging is gorgeous. Let me just show you two products that I absolutely love their packaging. So this is the Honey Fluff Matte Lip Cream, and it's just this beautiful packaging. Everything is this really nice nude type of pink packaging and then this is their face mist i mean how gorgeous is this packaging and the other product that i'm just obsessed with the packaging is these hot fluff lipsticks so the actual bullet lipstick on the outside is this really really nice like matte velvet type of packaging and then when you open it up i don't know if the camera is picking this up but you can see that jason Wu, the brand name is imprinted on the lipstick and has this beautiful like velvety type of texture similar to the type of texture that the huda beauty lipsticks have or the patrick ta lipsticks have which are obviously like double the price so although the price is a little bit more expensive you can definitely see where that pricing is going the packaging is beautiful and spoiler alert the formulation of these products are incredible so without further ado let's get right on into the demo footage i do want to start with the eyes first but before i start on the eyes i do want to prep my face for makeup so we are going to start with the jason Wu mr Wu green tea face mist this is a mist that comes i believe in the green tea and then in the rose i love anything with green tea and you can use this to either set your makeup or to prep it it's supposed to just be really nice and hydrating Okay, so the mist on my actual face is not that fine, so I don't know if I would use this as a setting mist, but it feels really, really nice on the skin to prep. It feels really nice and hydrating. I do have the face primer to use as well, but let's let that mist soak into the skin and dry down. And in the meantime, we will prep our eyes. So this is the Wu Pry Eye, and I got it in the light shade. Here is the light shade. You definitely have to squeeze this really hard to get it out. I'm just going to warm this up on my finger a little bit. It is quite thick. It just, it kind of feels like a thick concealer. And I'm just going to apply, oh wow, probably put a little too much. I'm just going to take the excess on my finger and put it on my sponge and start blending this out with my sponge. Wow, okay, well, I can tell you that a very little amount goes a very light way. I probably could have gotten the medium shade. The light shade is pretty light. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter since we will be covering this up with eyeshadow, but I know they have a white shade as well. This basically looks white 
on my eyes. Next up, we have the face primer. This is called the It's So Soft Tinted Primer. I'm very excited to try this out. I've never tried a tinted primer. I mean, I've tried the like color correcting primers, but not ones that are actually tinted. So let's see, I got the light medium shade. All right, so there is the shade right there. Let me read to you what it's supposed to do. Online it says, it's a lightweight, airy, soft whip tinted primer that helps minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. This primer can be worn alone or under foundation for a smooth, all day complexion. It's so soft, literally. All right, let's see. Just go, oh wow. It really feels, it is definitely that whipped, airy texture. I will say the shade match, the shade match looks pretty good. It is slightly dark. So here is one side of my face with the primer, one side of my face without. I, I know my under eyes, my eyes look a little crazy right now, so sorry about that, but let's ignore that for a second. This primer is really interesting. I mean, I don't know, it's almost like a tinted moisturizer. It has this really, really cool, velvety, airy, smooth texture, like nothing I've really ever tried before. The texture of it is so interesting. My pores are looking really nice and smooth. My lines on my forehead are looking very nice and smooth. I'm impressed so far. Let me apply it to the other side of my face. Here are both sides of my face with that tinted primer. This is very interesting. I'm just going to smooth everything out with my makeup sponge. My pores are literally looking amazing, like they have completely disappeared. It's not looking dry on my chin or anything. I am very surprised by this. I just, I, I honestly can say I've never tried a product that is like this. So this I'm excited for. We'll see how it looks once I do put foundation over it. But for now, let's move on to the eyes. For the eyes, I picked up one of the eyeshadow palettes and one of the liquid shadows. When I saw that he released an all matte palette, I was like, okay, that I definitely need to try. That I need to put to the test because I just feel like matte shadows are very hard to perfect. And then I saw that he had a liquid eyeshadow and I was like, you know what? This will be perfect to pair with the matte. So let's start with this first. This palette, unfortunately, does not have shade names and it doesn't have a mirror, which is a little annoying, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eye with this middle shade. I will say that the primer did crease just a little bit, but nothing too bad. And usually when I do go in with a primer, I usually do set it right away with an eyeshadow or a powder. And when I used this eye primer, I went back and I did my face primer. So there was definitely a few minutes where it was kind of just sitting and hanging out on its own. So I'm not really gonna fault it for that. Next up, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna pop this on my crease. I'm not gonna do anything to, oh wow. Okay, hello pigment. That looks much lighter in the pan than it looks on the eye and it literally blended out like a dream, okay. But what I was saying is that I'm not gonna do anything dramatic on the eyes today. I just wanna do something nice and girly and easy and quick. I'm now gonna take this kind of like greeny taupey shade. I'm gonna pick that up with the same fluffy brush. I'm using the Morphe M511. I'm just gonna put that sort of on the outer V and in the outer crease. I'm now going to go in with this brown shade and just take a little bit. This brown shade will definitely be the test to see how well these shadows blend out because I feel like you can do a light matte shade, but the dark mattes are much more difficult. So let's see. All right, yeah, this is applying really, really easily. It's actually applying a little bit lighter on the eye. I feel like the other mattes apply darker on the eye, but this brown is definitely applying a little bit lighter. Yeah, this brown is definitely applying a little bit lighter on the eye, but I do like that just so it's easier to sort of build up and it's a little bit more mistake proof. I will also say that I'm not getting any fallout at all. I am tapping on my brushes, but I'm not getting any fallout, which is awesome. Now I'm going to go back in with this middle color, this sort of like greeny taupey color, and just put that right in the crease and just blend out that brown. That's all I'm gonna do with the palette for now. I will come back and do like the underneath. Wow, I am extremely, extremely, extremely impressed so far. I mean, these mattes blended out like a dream. They applied like a dream. I'm shocked. All right, let's move on to the liquid shadow. This is the Celestial Luxe liquid shadow, and I have the shade Jane Doe, which I will swatch for you. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Oh my 
goodness and it feels like nice and velvety and almost like moussey let's go ahead and apply this on the eye this shade is gorgeous oh my goodness it definitely feels cold on the eye like very cold on the eye at first i think one eye i'll blend in with my finger and the other eye i will blend in with a brush and i'll see what works better blends in really really quickly really really easy with my finger doesn't feel sticky at all it definitely like sets down right away i hate when i put on a liquid eyeshadow and it's like sticky and when i open my eyes and close my eyes you can like feel it on the lid i'm just going to take that fluffy brush that i was using and just buff in this to my crease okay i think it looks pretty on the eye but it's actually like look how it looks on my hand versus how it looks on the eye it's definitely much more muted down on the eye so on this eye let's apply it with the applicator but then let's blend it out with a brush and see if that makes it like more intense wow okay it's definitely much more glittery you can definitely see the difference between the both eyes i'm going to do the same thing and just take this fluffy brush and just try to blend out the edges of the glitter so i just want to see how it layers on itself so i'm just going to put a little bit more on this eye and we'll do a little bit more on this eye because why not although the color is more intense when you blend it out with the brush i do think it's ultimately easier to blend this out with your finger so i'm just going to do that so I definitely think it depends what kind of look you're going for. If you want something a little bit more muted, blend out with your finger. If you want something a little bit more intense, blend out with a brush. But as you just saw, I could easily build this up. So if you do want something a little bit more intense, but it's easier for you to blend it out with your finger, you can definitely go in with a few layers of this. And damn, it literally, no exaggeration, like set down completely, like within a second. That's wild. Okay, wow, Jason Wu, we are off to an amazing start. So I almost got everything in his line, but he didn't come out with a foundation, a concealer, a bronzer, and a highlight. So everything besides that, we got it. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular foundation and concealer and bronzer, whatever, but before we do that, I actually forgot to put this on before. This is his everyday lip mask, and it comes in a tube, which I love. So let's try this out. Ooh, okay. It has a little bit of a, yeah, has a little bit of like a minty feel to it. Feels really, really nice on the lips. All right, this is definitely one of those products that I'll need to like try a few times to see how it works, but it feels really, really nice and hydrating on the lips. For my foundation, I'm just going in with my trusted Too Faced Born This Way Matte. This is a full coverage foundation, but honestly... I probably won't even need this much coverage because the primer gave me so much coverage, but we'll see how the foundation looks on top of the primer. Okay, this primer is so freaking cool. Like I definitely did not even need to go in with a full coverage foundation since the primer gave me some coverage or the primer gave me a, a lot of coverage, like a very good amount of coverage. My pores are basically like disappeared, like literally disappeared. I am in shock. And also the lines on my forehead have pretty much disappeared. Now this primer is a more matte primer, so I was worried how it was going to react on my chin. The chin looks amazing. It looks nice and smoothed out. It doesn't look dry or cakey or anything like that, so wow. This primer is uh, it's definitely shocked me a little bit. Before I go in with my concealer, I do want to try their Ready Set Matte Setting Powder. This is a banana powder, but they say it's translucent. And usually I do this after my foundation to bake my pimples. Honestly, because of the primer, I don't even think I need to do that. But I still want to test this out and see how it does do with baking my acne. So let's open this up. Oh, I haven't opened this, obviously. It comes with a little puff, which is super duper cute. I'm just picking up a little bit with my sponge and we will go ahead and add some on. For concealer, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Incognito Full Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Light Beige. Now that our concealer is all blended out, I took more of the translucent powder and I'm going to bake the sides of my nose and my under eyes with that. I have tried so many loose powders from the drugstore and although I will like them for the rest of my face, I have still not found a loose setting powder 
that I like for baking my under eyes. And every time I try a new one, I always think to myself, like, maybe this will be the one. Maybe this will be the one. We will see. While my under eyes bake, let's go ahead and wipe off or push in whatever you like to do. Push in the bake for my acne. Okay. That looks really, really, really good. It's definitely a true translucent powder. It's not making my skin any lighter. It's not really adding any color to my skin, which is awesome. Obviously, we do not want that to happen when we bake. And I always get nervous when I bake with something new. I'm like, crap. Maybe this will add or like oxidize the color or just change the color in any way. I'm kind of freaking out. Is this the best new beauty brand? Because literally everything we've tried so far has really impressed me. While my under eye bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade light to bronze up my face. All right, let's wipe off this bake. Okay, that looks good. But I just wish my under eyes were a tad bit brighter, which is the issue that I have with really all of my drugstore loose powders. Like the reason I always go back to my hourglass is because it'll give me that brightness I want, as well as like all the other things that I want from baking, like no creasing, no moving, setting everything down. So I think this looks, um, I mean, my pores have vanished. From the primer from this powder, my pores have literally vanished. I mean, they're gone completely and they're not coming back. Next up for blush, we are going to be trying out their Hot Fluff Lipstick. So you're probably wondering, why are you using lipsticks as blush? Well, I'll tell you why. These Hot Fluff Lipsticks have actually been formulated to use as multi-stick. So they say that you can use it on your lips, on your cheeks, and on your eyes. Obviously, we will not be able to see how it looks on the eyes, but I do want to try it on both my cheeks and my lips. I actually do have another lip product that I do want to use later on in the video, but because I want to try them both, we'll use these for now. Also, I completely forgot to mention the shades. I got them in the shades Apple Pie and Biscotti. So this shade right here is Apple Pie. It's sort of like a dark pinky red and then this right here is a cool toned almost brownish nude and that is biscotti let's start with using this as blush i'm going to use apple pie i don't know if i want to just apply it on or apply with my finger i think i kind of want to just apply it to my Ooh, it's such a cool like velvety formula let me start just putting this on Ooh, this color is beautiful let me take a little bit more and apply to the other cheek using my color pop f9 i'm just going to go and blend this out that is beautiful it's definitely nice and natural it's not like too pigmented but let's see if we can build this up i do want to try and just directly put this on the cheek just to see if it blends out any differently that way Yeah, I definitely think it's better to go in with your finger and blend it out. I do think it was just easier to blend that way. I'm assuming because this is obviously a cream and when you apply it with your finger and sort of rub it on, it kind of heats up that cream and almost thins it out a little bit. So it's definitely easier to blend it out when you go in with your finger. All right, I wanna put just a little bit more. I love how you can just layer this on top of itself. Wow, it's actually blending out with my finger very easily as well and the texture is really interesting it almost reminds me of like the next sweet cheeks formula because it goes on and it applies directly matte on the skin and it kind of just like settles in and almost like dries down on the skin pretty fast but not like too fast where you can't blend it out i mean this is blending out so easily wow yeah it kind of just like melts into your skin directly i am I'm shocked. All right, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna quickly just remove the lip mask and we will try them out as lipsticks as well. I do have a lip liner to try, but we'll save that for later when I use the other lip products. Let's go in with Biscotti. Ooh. Okay, the color I'm obsessed with, obviously, because it's a nude, but you guys, this formula is amazing. It's so opaque, but it's so thin. It's so thin. Like it literally doesn't feel like I have anything on the lips. It also has sort of this like velvety finish to it. Let's also add a little apple pie because I mean, why not? Wow, that's beautiful. That is, I, can't, I cannot get over this formula. Oh my God. I cannot get over this formula. Let me touch my, yeah. It's completely set down on my cheeks, not transferring at all. This may be my favorite item so far. Ooh, this or the primer or the liquid eyeshadow or the eyeshadow. Oh my God. 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This formula is incredible. For my highlighter, really quick, I'm just going in with this e.l.f. Bite Size in the shade Watermelon. Before we go back to the eyes, let's set everything down. So I do have this Jason Wu Magic Spell Setting Spray. This is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray. I will say that my skin right now is looking pretty matte because I primer mattified everything down and I used a matte foundation. I'm just gonna cover up my chin with my hands because we do not need a mattifying setting spray there. Okay, that feels really, really nice. The mister on this is really, really nice and fine. And as far as this being mattifying, I can't really tell yet just because the primer was matte and my foundation was matte, so on and so forth. But that being said, in the description box where I link this, I'll put in like a little note if it kept my face nice and matte for the rest of the day. Back to the eyes, I'm just gonna go in with this shade and I'm just applying it all underneath. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this brown shade and I'm just gonna put that on the outer half. For my inner corner, I do wanna take a little bit more of this and apply it to my hand. And then I'm just gonna pick up a little bit with this pencil brush and let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that is like blinding. Oh my God, that is so pretty. That's all I'm gonna do with the eyes. I think they look absolutely stunning. All of the eyeshadows and the liquid eyeshadow was so easy to use. Matt's blended out like a dream. I mean, I don't have enough good things to say about it. Now he did release a liquid eyeliner, but I personally don't really use liquid eyeliner, so I didn't pick it up. So sorry about that if you were hoping to see it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my Essence 20 Forever to find Value Mascara, and then we will move on to the eyebrows. First up, I got their Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Deep, which is right here. And then next to it, I have their Tinted Brow Gel, also in the shade Deep Slash Intense. And then I also got a Clear Brow Gel. So I think what I wanna do is on this eye, I'm gonna go in first with the Tinted one just to see like how much color it gives. And then I'll go in with the pencil. And then on this eye, I'll go in with the pencil first and do the clear, just so we can like test out everything. So here is the wand on the Tinted one. As you can see, one side is like flat and one side is a little longer. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go in with the shorter side and just start brushing my brows up. Now I'm going to take the longer side and apply it back here. I think the color is looking pretty good. I also like that the color is not leaking out or rather there's like not too much coming off of the brush which is good. All right let's let that set down and in the meantime we'll move on to the other eyebrow. Typically when I do my eyebrows I do use two colors. I do a lighter color in front and a deeper color more on the tail so I didn't get two colors so I'm just going to sort of start like right here in the middle. I'm just going to start Filling this in really softly. I think the color is pretty perfect for me. Almost like a black brown, like a very cool tone brown, which I like. So yeah, I like this. I mean, is it any much more special than any other brow product I use? Probably not. I will say that this is $12. My Morphe one, I would say, is just as good as this, and it's $5. So I do think that this is really nice and really good, but I do think there's just cheaper options out there that are just as good. Let's go ahead and use this clear brow gel. It's the same brush as the tinted one. I really like this brush. I just like how this formula doesn't deposit too much formula onto the spoolie because that can be really, really annoying. This is set down really, really nicely. It's not like feeling crunchy or like too held down, but it's set really nicely. All right, I do really like that tinted brow gel because I really feel like I hardly had to pencil my brows in. I kind of just put in a little bit over here, a little bit in front, and that was really it. And I definitely penciled this one in more. That being said, because of that, you can definitely see like the color difference of my brows. I will say, yeah, it feels also like the tinted brow gel has a slight bit of more hold than the clear brow gel. So I definitely say that out of all of the eyebrow products, I definitely like the tinted brow gel the most. I just went ahead and removed the lipstick I had on so we can try the other lip products. So I got one of his lip liners and then I got two of his Honey Fluff fluffy lip creams. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and I have them swatched on my hand right here. So here is the lip liner. The shade is called Leave Me Alone, which I just love. Here is the shade Adored in the lip cream and this is the shade Woo Me. So let's start with the lip liner first. Yeah, this lip liner is really nice and creamy. Glides on, but it is matte, which is good. The texture of it and also the packaging definitely reminds me of the KKW lip liners. And then I kind of want to mix these 
Adored is kind of dark and then this Wumi is definitely going to be too light. So I think I'm gonna put Adored more on like the outside and then put Wumi more in the middle. Oh, this feels really thin. And the texture is very like moussey, which is kind of cool. So that's how it looks like just in the outer corners. It almost matches my natural lip color. Now let's take Wumi. Wumi is definitely less pigmented than the Adored shade, but I think that definitely is playing out perfectly for me. So this is how both the shades look mixed. I absolutely love the color. I mean, listen, any nude lip I'm gonna love. That's just who I am, but the formula is very similar to the other lipstick formula where it's just so thin, like it's opaque, but it's super duper thin, like literally cannot feel it on the lips. I do wanna wait like another minute or two because I know this is a matte lip cream, so I wanna see if it's gonna dry down. All right, so I just gave the lips a minute or two to dry down. They feel really nice and like moussey, very similar to like the Rare Beauty lip cream, but I do wanna kiss my hand and see if any comes off. Yep, definitely a little bit. So I would say that these could be a dupe for those Rare Beauty lip creams. I will say though that these Jason Wu ones are definitely much more opaque and they can be like built up more. Whereas like the Rare Beauty ones are kind of just like a stain to me. All right, so here is the final look and I can say with confidence that there was not a single product that I didn't like. Every single product worked for me, every single product I liked, but I do wanna highlight just a few of like my favorite, favorite, favorites that I would highly suggest you run out and get. First up is no surprise, I absolutely love all of the lip products, especially the Hot Fluff lipsticks. I mean, they look gorgeous as a blush. They can also be used on the eyes, I have yet to try that, but seeing how they look on the cheeks, I'm sure they would look great on the eyes. They are amazing on the lips, they're so opaque, but they're so thin, you literally don't feel them. These are 12 out of 10, and I really, really love these matte lip creams as well. They do transfer a little bit, but they're really nice and soft and have this beautiful whipped texture, will not dry out your lips or anything like that. So these I'm obsessed with as well. These primers I'm also obsessed with. I mean, the eye primer, shocked. Literally shocked. Like when I tell you, you need to use the smallest, smallest, smallest amount of this and it just cancels everything out on your eyelid. If you have like veiny eyelids like I do, cancels everything out. It makes a beautiful canvas for the eyeshadow. Same thing with this primer. This primer is so interesting. This is the first primer I've tried of its kind. I will say that with this primer, if you do not like a matte makeup look or like a mattifying skin look, you may not like this, although I think you can still use this like in your T-zone or on your forehead to mattify everything and just to make your pores basically vanish. Like it basically vanished my pores. It vanished all of my texture, my forehead lines. It literally made my skin look like a porcelain doll and who doesn't want that? I was also very pleasantly surprised by this setting powder. I was saying that it didn't make my under eyes look bright enough, but I feel like once the makeup kind of came together and it was all done, I feel like my under eye is looking very nice and bright. And along with the primer, this literally blurred my pores. Like I, you know, baked it under here, pores gone. What are those? I literally don't know what pores are, but seriously, I'm very impressed by this. It's very nice and translucent. It didn't oxidize or anything. It didn't dry anything out. It is a matte setting powder, but I have very dry under eyes and it did not dry my under eyes out at all. So very impressed by this. And then the last two products has got to be the eye products. I will not lie to you. I purposely got this eyeshadow palette. He released three eyeshadows, but I purposely got this one because it was the all matte. And I was like, listen, if I'm going to put one to the test, it needs to be the all matte eyeshadow. I have not tried better matte eyeshadows from the drugstore than this palette. They are so buttery, they are so smooth. There is no fallout, they are so easy to layer. Shocked, literally shocked. I don't, I don't have enough good things to say about this. And similarly, the liquid eyeshadow is amazing. It applies so quickly and easily. It's not like sticky or weird or uncomfortable on your lid 
blends out like a dream. It can easily be built up and it is so shimmery and gorgeous. And there you have it. I am so impressed by this brand. I think Jason Wu Beauty killed it. I can already tell that some of these items will quickly turn into holy grail items. They were all amazing quality and I'm just shocked. If you have any questions on any of the products I tried out today, please do not hesitate to ask them down below in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. And with that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.